Hey guys, I hope you are well. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is another update here of the airport city. And uh, guys, um, there is a lot of development that has been here. And I thought it wise to update you on them here, guys. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing, like, and also share the video. Please give the video a thumbs up for me. Kindly do me a favor and just give this video a thumbs up, okay? Yeah, so if you are new, also consider subscribing. And as well, you can hit on the bell to be notified every time we upload a new video, okay? Yeah, so right now I'm giving you, I'm showing you airport area and guys, wow, it is amazing. See how the roads are ever busy here. Very busy, but moving, you know? Yeah, and also the quality of roads here is always good, guys. Yeah, someone told me that airport areas, most of the areas near airports in african countries are always wonderful okay drop a comment let me know where you are watching me from let me know how you are the airport area in your country looks like okay yeah let me know that so there's a still there's still a lot of uh constructions as you can see here guys a lot of co construction projects are still coming up here like the one you are seeing right now yeah do you know what they are constructing there drop a comment as well we really want to learn from uh, we really want to know what exactly is going on on that uh, side okay yeah so uh, this area, I've been doing a lot of coverages here, guys, in this uh, uh, around this area, and I've noted that a lot of um, constructions are coming up, a lot, a lot, a lot, are really coming up here, and um, the main aim is to make uh, the area even look more better and also attractive, you know, yeah, so... I hope, guys, that you've been around this area recently. And if you have, drop a comment, okay? You see the the planes there, guys? Yeah, so we are just next to Kotoka International Airport. And uh, that is um, why you can see planes around there. But uh, the main reason for this coverage today is to show you some of the developments that are coming up here. Some of the buildings as well have been complete. You can see the cranes there, guys. Yeah, wherever you see cranes, there is always a construction happening because uh, they always use cranes to uplift uh, those heavy building materials. Yeah, so... But what I love is the face of this area. The face has changed. A lot have really come up. A lot are going on in this area, guys. And um, one thing I've learned uh, recently, guys, is that most of the, uh, not all the buildings here are owned by the government or are being constructed by the government. Some are done by individuals, okay? Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of individuals, organizations, you know, that are coming up with building, with constructions here, you know, and uh, what they are constructing here is all, they're all uh, modern architectural designs, you know, the modern construction, the modern designs in this area, which is amazing. Yeah, this is just wonderful, okay? Yeah, because wherever, uh, maybe let me say foreigners or visitors or tourists, wherever they come to, to the country here, what they are going to see first is uh, this area. It's going to be welcoming them to, uh, to Ghana, right? Yeah, so this area, I really, really love how there are so many strange, um, unique buildings here unique offices you know unique apartments you know let me know if maybe you are owning any building here or any project happening here do you own any or do you know someone who own one here you know i'd really want to know the motivation behind it yeah because there must be something that motivates you to do something right i told you earlier on in some of my videos that what i love about Ghanaians is that they are these people who 
strive to develop their country their own way okay yeah so i mean what i mean is you find that most of the Ghanaians they are um investing you know they're investing in their country you know some people even if they are uh, they are in di- di- diaspora there maybe they're not in the country but they are investing back in the country yeah that's very true and i'd really want to know drop a comment as well if you know so okay yeah and guys just see the serene environment here the serene environment guys it's just so much amazing Trees everywhere. I everywhere. Every time, I always tell you, nature is everything. Now check the view of this area. Very beautiful. Like it's blending with the with the constructions, with these um, uh, with these uh, uh, buildings. You know, these modern buildings. They're just blending here, and it give an amazing, amazing face. So if you love this face. Then you know what to do. At least try and plant one tree wherever you are. If it is a place you can plant a tree, please make sure you have one tree planted, okay? If you cut one, you should plant not even two. It should not be two, but anyway, it should be like three or four, right? Yeah, because trees are everything and see how beautiful the view is. Wow. What is the name of this building over here, guys? If you not drop a comment, I'd really want to know what is the name of this beautiful, um, beautiful uh, building here. It's an amazing, amazing one that um, is adding to the beauty of this area. And you can see the farthest end, guys, there is a construction taking place there. There's a construction going on. They have just done a foundation. Something is coming up there as well. As I told you, airport area is just wonderful because there's a lot of projects happening. And also um, how I wish that every single part of the country would be like this, right? Like the development should just be uniform. Yeah how I wish it would be uniform, you know. Yeah, even into the deeper villages, can something just be coming up? Can can we just be able to develop our place, you know? It's, it's not always about what somebody else is doing. It's also about what you yourself is also doing. What is your contribution, right? Yeah, if you can't have, uh, if you can't maybe develop it as much, maybe you still uh, not have, uh, you're not still financially stable, you can you can just do the list you know yeah you know people always think that uh, if we say contributing it means you have to have millions of dollars or maybe some amount of money no even just failing like um avoiding littering maybe the city or the town or wherever you are even picking up some litters you are still contributing to the beauty of your country. That is very much true. The little things that we assume are very, very important every single day, okay? So let's make sure that our country is always in the in the best shape. Yeah, because we do contribute, guys, and then start complaining. Some people start saying, oh, maybe such and such a place is not clean enough, you get. But maybe you saw someone littering the place, but you shut up, you kept quiet. You are also equally littering the place right it's not just the person who is throwing that bottle there and moving and going their way but it's also about you who is seeing it happen and you keep quiet so it's always better for you to talk speak up you know and do the right thing correct every uh, if you see something is wrong correct it that is why we are here and that is how we can contribute into the beauty of our country guys check that view wow i think this is amazing and uh, this is the latest update guys of the airport area and i hope you loved it if you asked for this video i got your back and here is the video for you so uh, we are coming to the end of the video anyway i hope you enjoyed it drop a comment subscribe like and share widely with those who you think may be interested in such content anyway guys we are coming to the end and let's meet in the next one.